And there's just one final thing I wanted to show you down here, which isn't a vegetable, it's actually a flower. And that's these alstomeros. And the reason that I put them in the vegetable garden is it's very important with alstomeros to pull them, not to cut them. And that's exactly what you do with rhubarb. You always pull rhubarb rather than chopping it. And so you do just the same with your alstromeria. You get, just get the stem and you give it a, a, just a, a good stout pull. And what that does is it actually promotes growth below ground. So not only do you get a longer stem, but also you promote the formation of more buds. And so you actually perpetuate rather than curtail your harvest. And so that's how you should always harvest your astromarias, whether they're inside in the greenhouse or outside like these hardy ones. This, I really, this is my favourite variety at the moment which is a variety called Elvira. Can you see it? It looks like a sort of tropical orchid. I love its really prominent splotching on the flower. So I'm going to pick lots of that. It's smaller than this one, um, which is, uh, this one is called Friendship, and this one I think is called Apollo. Let me just check if there's a label. Yeah, it is. And so rather than letting them just go over, pick them, harvest them, and bring them inside. And they have a vase life of a good two weeks, which is why a lot of us have got bored of our stromeros, because we see them too much on the garage forecourt. But the reason they're on the garage forecourt is they're just such splendid cut flowers. And it doesn't matter if you've got a twisty stem like these. I'm, I'm just going to take them inside and I can chop the stem on. It doesn't matter two weeks. They're so tall anyway. So they're one of the things that you really can pick by the armful load for many, many months of the year. And uh, with modern varieties, old varieties used to be very invasive so that you had to be really careful, otherwise they just would take over your garden. But these modern varieties don't do that.